Hello guys, today I will show you how to create a chatbot with, uh, with TDO. The first thing to do is basically from your dashboard to click on the chatbot section which is on your left hand side and once you are on the chatbot session you will have the chance to choose in between a ready-made template or to basically create a chatbot from scratch. As you can see TDO offer the opportunity to basically have a chatbot for any kind of needs uh, from uh, increased sales to simply solve problems or even to other special uh, opportunities. Um, as I was saying, you can use uh, a ready-made chatbot which uh, uh, there are several in the platform. Uh, we can see here post-purchase discount, FAQ for online store, uh, one for increased sales, one uh, for a car booster and so on. Today I will basically show you how to create one from scratch. The first thing you will need to do on the top left hand side of the screen, you will need to choose what kind of chatbot you'd like to create. Today we will go for um, increase sales chatbot. So once you click in there, you will have a window opening up where you will be able to see any kind of bot which has been created and is active or not uh, on your website or at least it's ready to be deployed on your website. In this case, we will need to create one from scratch, so we will need to click on Add from scratch. Once you're ready to, to create your chatbot, you can simply start to select, drag and drop the action you would, you would like your bot to take. So because the trigger is form abandoned, I will go for decision quick replies, which will basically offer the chance for the customer to select in between two or three options. Remember, basically switch off the transfer to operator message if you want the conversation to, to carry on further. And in this case, I would just ask if the customer needs help in the form. And I can quickly tell the customer, set up for the customer the option to simply yes and no. Once done so, you just need to connect the trigger to the action and the, for, and the bot will start to have kind of a logic and the first thing it's going to ask is do you need any help with the form? Once it's done so, as we said, the customer will have a chance to choose between two options, which is going to be yes and no. So we need to decide what we're going to do in the case the customer will say no, or in the case the customer will, need, will say yes. Let's start with simple one, in case the customer will say no. In this case, we want to basically send a chat message to the customer, and we want to basically tell him that there is no problem, and we want to thank him for the visit. How can you connect the no reply to this specific answer? It's easy, you just need to connect the two, and then when the little window will pop out, you will just need to click on no. And now, once we've done so, we can basically go to set the yes reply. And in this case, we will just pretend that there is a live agent out there waiting to a customer contact. So we will select this specific action, which will be notify to the operator. We will connect the two and automatically say yes, because no was already selected. And this will transfer the chat to an operator. Of course, here you can select and you can write uh, any kind of information you want the chatbot to pass to your operator. And if a customer would say no, you will have the chance to basically ask and enable a feedback by simply switching this button on. So what TDO is, here, is, is asking me here is basically saying that this bit cannot be empty. So this is basically a message we want to send to our operator. I'm going to say that customer needs help with a subscription. So what's going to happen as soon as the customer will abandon the form, the chatbot will go into action and will ask a quick question where the customer will have the chance to choose in between yes or no. No, we'll send the chat message and we'll end the bot conversation. 
yes instead. We'll notify our live agent that the customer needs help with the form, so it will be able to live chat and interact with the customer, helping him out in subscribing into the form that we want him to subscribe to. And this was basically an example on how to set a chatbot, how to create a conversation chat that will help your customers in resolving an issue and your customer service or your business in automate specific conversation prior to pass them to, to, a, to an operator or to a specific department. On your left hand side, you have the chance to amend your chatbot name and on the bottom bit, you have the chance to adjust the zoom, the zoom you can recenter the conversation flow and of course you can check the analytics and of course you can make many more edits to the analytics as soon as the bot will go live. Once it's completed and once it's done and you think the bot is ready to be tested, you can test it out by clicking on test it out. A new window will pop out and you will have the chance to create an interaction with the bot to test if the flow will raise a ticket or not and if in the flow everything is it's fine and once it's tested and you are ready you can basically click on save and activate or if you want to just save it as a draft you can save it as a draft once clicked on save as a draft you will just need to draw the bot name and select the reason you're creating this bot and click on continue and the bot will be saved into the chatbot page or dashboard. Remember, once it's ready, if you wanted to activate it, you can just simply switch the button on your right hand side, or you can click on the three dots, select on the many other options, like test it out, show statistics, or make some new edits. And this was it. As you see, as you've seen, TDO is fantastic for creating bots that would increase sales, generate leads, solve problems or any other. You can basically set so many triggers and create so many bots that will help you to basically automate, in many cases, even more than 60% of your customer service operation.